Hello everyone, welcome to Studying Automation. In this tutorial, we will see how we can create our first document documentation for the GET API. So consider this is one API endpoint slash and then we are directly showing welcome to MongoDB API. Now for this, if I have to write documentation, so I'll have to write, I'll do slash streak streak and then enter it will then after that we have to write swagger this is the tag that we have to use swagger and then we can say here that i want to use so you can write slash colon so you have to match with this one so this is the slash colon after that we can press one tab and then write get this is our get method click enter then you can say slash one tab two tab after second tab we can write here summary and then in summary you can write this api is used to check if get method is working or not right this is one summary after summary we have to write description so in description we can keep the same thing then we can say that we have responses in responses we can say i should get 200 response so it doesn't matter if you will use colon or not 200 and in 200 we want description that means in response description description to test get method so this is documentation that i have written here for this particular api we can see here endpoint now let's save it and then we can check here we can refresh again now you can see one default api is showing and here we have slash forward and then you can say this api is used to check if method is working or not we can click here it will automatically expand and now you can see in parameters we have we don't have anything in response we are saying code should be 200 and then here description is to test get method so whatever things we have written in response 200 and description is this one so now summary where it is showing so this summary will show on the first url mapping so this one this is the summary so let's say if i say that something i have appended here let's check that means we can refresh it again now you can see summary is showing on the top by default it will list all the apis here and summary will show here once i click on it try now we have execute so we can click on execute it will actually perform whatever things will be written inside that particular api so now you can see request url is this one response welcome to mongodb api and this is the header that we get so in the api we can see that whenever we will perform this one we will get welcome to mongodb api and the same thing we are getting here in response working in the next tutorial we will see how we can perform for books where we will fetch the data from mongodb and then how we can show that on swagger ui thank you